turn! Pick on someone your own size! Hey everybody, it's Marshall Monkey here. I'm just giving my Supergirl Season 2 Episode 9 review. Uh, this episode was really interesting. I did like it quite a bit. It didn't really fit into what was going on with... Uh, you know, Cadmus and Cyborg Superman stuff. It was kind of like a filler episode, but at the same time was its own episode, so we need to talk about it, so let us get started. So this episode was really great um, on its own, but again, it really didn't feel relevant. And I said it kind of felt like a filler episode, and Gotham kind of did something like that as well um, about two weeks ago, I believe. Um, now, again, this episode, it wasn't relevant. But it still was good, and I think that that's really interesting that we have an episode that really didn't make sense, but still did make sense at the same time. Uh, Kara ends up, you know, finding out about this missing girl named Izzy um, at Catco, and ends up investigating a Supergirl, and mon is along with the ride, uh, for the ride uh, in this journey that they have on this different planet. Um, which I thought was really weird that it had all these conveniences. It had a red sun, so she couldn't use her powers. It was toxic to Martians, so Martian Manhunter couldn't save them. Like, it was like, okay, the episode's pretty good, but the logic behind it isn't. And I thought that that was really bad. Like, they could have explained some other way that, you know, Jean couldn't go. Um, I think that they should have set it up a few episodes before. That way, something that was going on, maybe, you know, if he was still turning into a white Martian. Like, that's an example of a problem they could have used. Wynn had a lot to do in this episode, as he kind of had a fear of going out in the field. Uh, he got hurt in an accident and almost got killed um, while helping James' his guardian. And the weird thing about it is, I feel like they really did rush this arc. Because Wynn almost got killed, and yet by the end of the episode, going to outer space, you know, pretty much helped him. Um, which makes no sense to me, again... You know, after Alex helped take him to uh, the planet to help save Kara and mon -El and the others, I just think it's really weird that he just rushed over that fear. Um, I think they should have dragged it out, in my opinion, but they just kind of resolved it within, within the episode. They also re resolved a lot of um, uh, Alex's stuff throughout the episode, too. So I feel like the episode really had a lot of these kind of issues with these characters, like Alex and Wynn, but they didn't have enough time to really give them their all. And we'll talk about that in a second. But let's talk about Roulette, because Roulette is back. And I do like Roulette quite a bit. I think she's fantastic. Um, but the problem with her character is, where are they going with it? Like, where are they going with this character? Because that's one thing they couldn't explain, is why is she on this planet? I mean, they explained why she's on the planet, but why, you know, what's going to happen next to her? Why is she, you know, this evil? Like, it's weird to me. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's like... Where are you taking the character? Please explain this to me. Because she didn't have much to do in this episode and she was barely in it at all. So I, I don't know. I just think all of it's weird. I feel like she was there as a placeholder just because that was the only reason why the humans were on that Earth. Uh, and that, Or on that planet. Not that Earth, uh, but on the planet. And I feel like that's why she was there as, as a placeholder. I don't know. It just feels weird to me. Um, but she was also kind of mis misplaced. Monel and Kara, I do like their relationship that they're having together. Monel has decided to become a superhero. Kara is probably going to be training him once more. Um, we're going to have a lot of training. We've had, you know, Oliver with the recruits. We've had Barry with Wally. Now we're having Kara with Monel. So it's like, oh, so much training going on here. Um, but I am excited to see uh, whether or not he takes the Valor path or the Superboy path. And we'll talk about that near the end of, the, uh, of this video. But I'm, you know, I like the chemistry that they're having. I think they should keep it at that level because it's just so good. And I wonder if Carl will ever find out, find out about that kiss that happened. Now, Maggie. Now, this is where we talk about what was going on in the episode with Wynn and uh, Alex. So, Alex, of course, you know, has ha had issues with Maggie talking about how she's been protecting Kara. And that, you know, she's never been able to do anything for herself in life. And I feel like they resolved this way too quickly. I mean, there were, it was just so rushed. Again, with Wynn as well, it was really rushed. Everything was kind of rushed through. And I didn't like how they did that. Because um, it felt like they were giving us this issue and kind of giving this, you know, giving us this character arc that they had. 
and they resolved it so quickly that we didn't really get to get connected to it. Because the characters, you know, what they're going through is supposed to be kind of relatable. You know, Alex kind of finding her way through the commitment issues, and Wynn kind of, you know, taking chances and, you know, finding his courage in this episode. You know, th that's supposed to be kind of helping people relate. And I don't think they'll have enough time to do that, unfortunately, if they rush through, you know, some of the issues. So I feel like they should have, you know, drugged those out for a few more episodes, but they didn't. So it's like, oh, well, we'll get him next time, champs. Um, but I did like uh, James's guard in this episode. I thought that was really cool, too. Um, you know, it's fine. Now, the Dominators are not gone. We did see one in this episode. And this is really interesting because he had convinced... Uh, I can't remember the name of the aliens from the planet, but he had convinced that one alien not to shoot Monel. So Monel was not shot and not killed. The Dominators know him from somewhere or know him for something. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what the Dominators truly want. But I think what's interesting is if the Dominators are still there and they're worshipping him for some reason, if he becomes Valor or if he becomes Superboy, um, then what, you know, are they going to come back and invade that Earth too? Like, I, I don't know. That's really weird. And then also, how did the Dominators get from Earth 1 all the way to Earth, you know, 19, or not 19, sorry, Earth, like, whatever Supergirl is. I don't even know, I don't even remember, Earth, like, 30-something? I don't even remember what her Earth is. But how did they get there, too? It's like, I don't know, is there, like, Dominators everywhere? It's weird, we'll have to wait to see what they, ha you know, what happens. And I wonder if Valor is happening. So if you guys don't know, mon -El in the comics is actually named Valor. Um, that's his superhero name. He's not Superboy, but a lot of people have been thinking they're going to take him down the Superboy route instead of having Connor, because Connor Kent, aka Superboy, has a lot to do with Lex Luthor. So we'll have to wait and see, but I think it's more likely that they'll try to mix both characters, just like they did with Wally West and The Flash. But what did you guys think of the episode? Comment down below. Um, did, you, did you guys like it, or did you guys not like it, and what do you think is going on with the Dominators? Uh, comment down below, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.